Hi, this is Glenn White with EuroSafety. In today's tutorial, I'd like to talk about the freewheeling unit that you would find in the aerial equipped helicopters. The purpose of the freewheeling unit is to allow for a method of a disengagement between the output shaft and the engine in case of an engine failure. Uh, if we look inside of the aerial engine, we have our output gear, which is powered through the reduction gearing from the um, power turbine wheel. And that lower uh, output gear is connected to your transmission shaft. And the transmission shaft runs forward and is connected to the outer ring in the freewheeling unit. If we look inside the freewheeling unit, we have our outer ring, which is being powered by our transmission shaft. And then we have our output shaft uh, inside of that. And between those two walls, we have sprags. So once the engine starts turning, it will jam those sprags between those two walls and drive the output gear, which uh, in the front is connected to the transmission and in the rear to the tail rotor drive. Now, if the engine were to fail, that outer ring would stop turning and the sprags would be pushed to the side and that output shaft could be continued to be powered by your main rotor system and then run through your engine and power your tail rotor system. I hope that answers any questions you have about the uh, freewheeling unit on the aerial engines and we'll see you at the next Euro Safety tutorial.